Story time I played off stream. I was really beat up about this game. I was very... So, last time we played... Um, also, yeah, heads up, spoilers. We're going to start talking about Echoes of the Eye. Um, if you're here just to say hi before we get into game stuff. TT. We'll see you around. Um, we will we will be talking about it. Trav, I know. I'm sorry, friends. We're gonna get into the lore. I'll switch over to the game, too, just so we have it running in the background and it's not too confusing. Um, but yeah, I played off stream. I was, I was really beat up. Last time on stream, we got to the room with all the owl people. And I knew, if nothing else, I was gonna wanna go back there and rule out a bunch of possibilities just to like see if there was anything in the corners and see what happened in a bunch of different trips and i was feeling very disappointed that it was gonna take me a whole sequence to set up getting there and i might not find anything or i might like look in the corner and then immediately get caught and wake up and then i would have to set up the whole thing again because i wasn't fast at setting it up yet i was very slow at getting there so, I was bummed about that, and before, like, I was so hooked on that room before I could move on, I was like, I'm gonna have to do this off stream. So I did a few loops. Hey, video game pizza, welcome in. Thanks for the hello. And Sequoia, hi. No worries, hope you have fun with the game. Thank you, Trav. I think you might already be out of here, but, um, take care. So... I did a couple loops in that room off stream. I did turn on reduced frights because I knew I was going to have to go back through there and I just wanted to get it over with. And I don't, I'm, I think I'm ready today to find out what reduced frights actually is because there's a whole conversation we can have about the reduced fright setting. I'm off to bed now. Always a delight to see you. Extra delight by the hair. Oh, thanks. Take care. Have a good one. Have a good sleep, Pratt. And thanks for stopping in. I know the time zone is, this is like so late to be starting. Um, I normally start much earlier than this, but yeah, take care. Um, We're waiting for the safe word. I know, I know. I, I, uh, I, I paused, but basically I wanted to be able to go through that room several times and not have to worry so much. I think that Reduce Fright changes how- because I got caught a bunch after that and I think it changes what happens when you get caught. It's like slightly less jump scary. So I guess we can start out with safe word. Is that all that- re is that what Reduce Fright does? Like I feel like I'm ready to know because I'm either going to keep it on all stream today or turn it off and go back to how we were. I think I played with it enough to get a little more desensitized to the owls, and then I was like, all right, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if this is doing anything. To my experience, yes. It's just the owls. Maybe. I don't know what else is in the game. Okay, I still have more story time, too. Let's go ahead and open up and at least look at my ship log, and I can talk about what I found. Does one other thing with the owls. Okay. Something maybe I haven't seen yet, I don't know. Alright. Slate. How's it going? And and I think I was feeling really bummed about the game, but playing it off stream, at first I was like, we'll just hang out, and we will, uh, you know, just kind of tinker around and not do anything terribly significant, and just do some thinking. And then I ended up playing and was like, you know, I get to keep some of, like, just a little bit of this playthrough for myself because it's helping me enjoy it again. It's helping me have a better time with it to be able to just play no pressure and, like, mess around. So I did a few other things off stream, but I got to one point and I didn't want to progress until we could, we could, we could be on stream again for it. Big thing that it gets rid of is the startling music changes when you get spotted and chased. Okay. Cool. Because there's like a, a noise that plays when you get spotted, right? And then there's like a while they're coming after you and that's gone now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it off, I think, then. But I don't think we're going to run into them for a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. 
they're pretty fast too. They're faster than me, it seems. Like every time I've gotten chased, I don't think I've been able to get away. But that also might because be because of the small space. Um, so after that, after I did several runs through that room, I started to feel like, you know, I don't know that there's anything in here that I need to stick around for. Yeah, I wish it worked in Bramble Wolf. <laughs> Hey, Slime Mitch, welcome. I'm so terrified even with reduced sprites. There's like a whole... Oh, man. The reduced fight setting is interesting. Um, but after we hung out in... Which one is it? Shrouded Woodlands. For a while, I spent a significant amount of time here. I I would have like two or two and a half, two, three, wake up, get caught, go back to sleep run through, like, sprint through, get caught, wake up, go back to sleep, and, uh, it just wasn't leading anywhere, and then the woodlands would flood, and I would say, okay, let's go to the tower, it's the next closest sleepy zone, I've got an artifact, let's go there and just tool around until the, the loop ends. And so when I stopped messing around with the woodlands, I started going to the tower more, and exploring more and trying to make sure I had ruled out all my dead ends, which I had not done yet. And I, I just hadn't even taken the opportunity to go back and double check yet because I was so dang fixated on the room with the owls because I wanted to do more there before I did anything else. And I think in my head, the scariness and the scare setting, I was like, well, if it's that scary and they have a frightening setting and it's all this, it must be important. So I have to stick it out and like get through there. And then of course there was a whole area that I had missed in Starlit Cove, which we now have found, which I can show you. We could just do a loop going there if we want to. And I can show you what I did. Um, and then we made progress on the tower and then we got, I got, a we, this was all me off stream. I got an ending off stream. An ending. I can tell you about that too. But this is like, finally, I just got to have fun with the game and play and feel better about it. And then today I was like, I can't wait to play again. I want to stream. <laughs> got an encounter in the woodlands. Had honey horror for like 10 years. So I just didn't think the DLC had scary moments. I turned on the darkest part and saw one behind me. I'm so sorry, Mitch. Oh my gosh. It's, it's the fact that you're constantly anticipating scares because of that first initial, like, setting. When the warning pops up, you're like, oh no, it's a horror game. And it puts you in the mindset that it's a horror game. And it has a lot of aspects of that. And I think I was, like, very fixated. And I still kind of am. I don't know what's coming. I'm not done yet. I did finish off stream. I got an ending. <laughs> Didn't anticipate it. Yeah scary scary so um i can show you what i found here and then we have to go to we have to go to the cove anyway we're gonna leave the woodlands behind oh and i'll show you what else happened so when i was <laughs> when i'm playing this game off stream i finally was like you know what i want to go for time and efficiency I'll go ahead and turn on the autopilot. And um, I'll show you what happens when we do that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Blast off. Oh goodness. Oh I didn't I didn't uh I didn't do the thing. Hey Moon. Hi Chai. Hi three Bs. Stressful day at work but watching you experience the game makes it better. I'm sorry your day was stressful. I'm glad you're here to hang with us. Oh, I said I was going to turn it on, but I can't turn it on if I don't have it pinned in the HUD. Are we safe to turn it on? Yeah. Oops. Okay. Um, and I've gotten better with, uh... What is it? The, like, making the default settings at the beginning when when it loses the the lock on spoiler chat is excited to see you autopilot Jen the autopilot I never use autopilot but it's 
it's quicker, obviously. And I was like trying to do the grindy, efficient stuff off stream. So I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and use it. And just save, all I thought it was gonna do was save time. I did not think <laughs> the blood pressure of half of spoiler chat by 20 points. Sorry, spoiler chat. I did not think it was gonna bring me in on the sun side every time, okay? I had no idea. So I had a nice conversation with Semi Cortex yesterday about how funny it is that um, <laughs> we, we didn't come here ever from the outside. Ever. <laughs> oh, do you mind if I take another look at the reservoir entry log? Managed to miss something. Um, we can do it since we haven't left the ship yet. But then, otherwise, I'll just do it at the beginning of every loop. It's so frustrating, you have no idea. I don't find it frustrating. I had a blast flying to this thing every time and coming in the raft way every time. I just thought that I thought that was what you were supposed to do. I never thought that autopilot would take you to the sun side because we tried the sun side like one time and bonked into one of the structures. And I was like, yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. We can't come in the sun side through the ship. And what I was doing was getting us here, you know. Hey, Jack's Lantern, welcome. Sierra Bree, welcome. Played it off stream as well. I'm excited to come back. Yes, Chai, exactly. I saw um, Prescient in the Echoes in Progress channel in the interloper because i i went in there because i was like i just i need to talk about this i need to vent um the reservoir one you said i don't it's mine's not full so here but don't please don't um like say what i have that you don't or if i'm missing something because i am still no no hints and no tips but i'm letting you in on what what realizations happened after after uh off stream once again has one of the most unique playthroughs of the game thanks semi if y'all are having a good time i'm having a great time uh again i wasn't for a little bit but that that was the same with base game i just get frustrated with time crunch why i love a game that has t timed intervals every loop i'll never understand hey kovsky welcome in hello hello Willie, hi. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh. I love taking this terribly short raft visit. I love the splashing water. It's like, oop, a personal mission to jump in all the puddles and make them splash now. And now we walk over here and get the other raft. Good, good. This is good. Good start. Tuesday. We never stream on Tuesday. Tuesday's like my modding day and like do errands all morning day. Which I don't know how late we're gonna go, but I wanted to at least get in here and do some stuff and, and, and talk about what I've learned. Is the water splash new? I'm not sure. We didn't- there weren't a whole lot of shallow water environments in the base game aside from, uh, Quantum Moon, uh, what's it called? Giant's Deep Quantum Moon. It's kind of funny how you decided to stream me, wondering when stream was gonna start is how I figured out it's Tuesday! <laughs> yeah. And now I'm messing with you even more, Magus, I'm sorry. Like, wait, is it Wednesday? No, no. We're still streaming tomorrow for Metroid stuff, but, um, we're also doing this. Okay, so then I started, like, messing around. I mean, pretty... No, not pretty quickly. 
pretty quickly after I started messing around in this part of the sleepy zone, I found the building I had completely missed. Um, which we can go there too if we want. We have we have all the time that we want to take. There were little splash sounds in base game, can't remember graphics. Was there anything else I wanted to share with you that I realized about flying or anything like that? Oh, interesting. My focus button isn't working? It's back. It's back. I know you were worried. Do you have any science interest that relates to the game? Um, I don't know. I like space travel and space stuff. <laughs> I don't have any, like, oh gosh. I don't know, not in like a professional or like very in-depth hobby capacity, but, 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 but some, to a degree, yes. I like space, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Puffin Suds. <laughs> you know, man, friends, dude, I like space. Alright, I'll show you what I found, because it's silly. I came here, I used these hand portals, but then I was making sure that I had covered all of my dead ends and I never jumped over this thing But the funny thing is it like we jumped over the one in the awake zone a bajillion times And I just never I had not come back here yet. We never walked down here. I was fixated on so many other things so we did this and uh, this hallway led me to a false epiphany where I was like, oh, I can get past these alarms because I can just quickly light up and then and then conceal the light and then hide it again and I can still walk forwards. Um, but that doesn't help me. Not in the not in the cove yet. Don't know why space turned into an emo. Oh it's BTTB. It's because it's one that I have like assigned to the channel. Mistake, hi. Welcome in. I almost messed that up. So I had never been here before, so this filled out a section I of the, um... floating whale to give me some fins. A section of the ship's log that I had missed. Uh, wooden! Oh, congrats! Thank you for the 42 bits. Thank you for cheering for humanity. I appreciate it. I don't know if we'll finish today, but we, we definitely have some, some exciting things to do. And that's awesome. I bet that's a really excellent feeling. Here, I found this thing. Okay. So I had the false epiphany about the alarm thing. So I went back and tried it. It didn't help me. Then I found this at some point. Or maybe I had found this, but I thought, I don't know, I can't interact with it. But this thing got me thinking about the tower again. Okay, there's a mural in both versions of the tower. There's a telescope pointing at the tower. I went up to the top of the tower and tried to look at this telescope from the top and I it didn't really help me. Um, I don't know, it almost looks like the picture of the probe thing and there's like little things at the base that look like it would power it, but I, I, I don't know, we'll come back to that. Maybe there's a way to use it, but I haven't found it yet. Okay, so then we went over here. Folks, have completed that fast? I want your brain. I don't want that brain. I want to like in uh, stretch it out a little and explore all the weird things that I like to explore that aren't useful to the playthrough, but are fun. And spend an hour in the wrong room marveling at something, thinking it's a clue when it's not. <laughs> Saw a Steven Universe fan tweet that. As the alert went off, hey Naki, welcome in. That's good timing. It's here to consternate folks that want to talk about Kerbal Space Program. Yes. Okay. 
So now we must return to the tower. I feel like I'm talking so fast. I wish I hadn't rushed through it because there's more things I would have found and just admired. Yeah. I I was getting to the point, obviously, where I like wanted to have made more progress than I was making. I wanted to be faster, but there was so much of like wasted time that I wouldn't change. Went back and did it after. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just exploring and looking around at things, yeah. Okay, so we had the, I, I played off stream, I did lots of trial and error, I wasted a lot of time, but I did finally come in here and blow out the candles. I don't know what exactly compelled me. I think because this candle was out. Because I went back and saw that there was a light out, and I knew there was a light out, but I didn't know why it was out. So when I walked into this room and this candle was out, I think that's when it finally clicked. We're just gonna extinguish all of them. Um, so it happened off stream, I know, bummer, but I'm glad that I that I got it. I didn't have to have a hint from anybody. I finally just messed around in the game enough to get that. And we were hung up on that for a long time. Oh, I can just uh, wake up, right? Yeah, yeah. Oops. I don't know why I'm trying to exit. Okay, and then after we go, after we go in here, can, should I tell you about my ending? Should we talk about that before I start like seeing things I've never seen before? The candle thing was tricky, seems obvious once you realize it. Yeah, yeah, I, and I, I'm confident I would have figured it out eventually and I, on stream, off stream, whatever, um, but uh, I was I wasn't done exploring the other things that I was fixated on yet. And once I had moved on from those, I would have done this because I did. I just did it off stream. It is a DLC ending, yes, Chai. If you're trying to avoid those, we can have somebody let you know when I when I stop talking about it. I wish there were more places where there were correlations between candles and lamps. Is it? Yeah, because it's how the wording is. I mean, it's similar to ones that are in the base game, but the wording itself, I don't, I don't think that would have been in the base game relating to anything. Okay. Warning, I'm going to talk about it now. Yeah, Chai. Oh, we'll, we'll see you when you get back and stir fry welcome in. Um, so while I jump down here. I was messing around, exploring, thinking of stuff like, well, if I can't make progress, well, what else can I do? What else can I think about? How does this game relate to the, how, do, how does the DLC relate to the base game? Is there going to be a connection? I was having these thoughts. All of these are rhetorical, by the way. And I was like, you know, what big things can I do in the base game? that I can tie into this, that I can like mess around with and and, and experiment with. And um, I decided, you know what? I don't wanna go to the vessel. <laughs> I don't. I'm having enough jump scares, thank you. But I'll go pull the core. That's not that bad at all. We've done it a million times at this point. Let's go pull the core because we had learned by now that the end of every loop, the stranger is outside of the reach of the supernova. And we've seen the information that tells us that, and we've read about that. And um, I was, I, the wheels were starting to turn, and I was like, yeah, let's go pull the core and get the Solanum ending with us inside the stranger. So you you go get it, you fly all the way here, which isn't bad at all, and you have the music going inside of the stranger like it's the end of the game end of the game base game whatever 
and you're running around just like I was just killing time. I'm like, I'm trying not to die, but I also kind of want a good vantage point when the supernova happens. But I really don't want to die because then I have to go pull the core again. So we I walked rafted all the way to the reservoir and went in that room that unlocks that you do that I did find the password for and there's like a nice view of the dark side of the stranger and across the way you have like a pretty decent view of the sun and we just sat there and I waited and my my harpian waited patiently and the song stops and you get supernova and it goes on forever you just sit there it may make you wait for so long and you're like, do I just get to play the game without a loop now? <laughs> um, and eventually it fades. It fades to black and you get a little like your dead ending, but it has different text, which is like, I don't remember exactly what it says. I screenshot it. I'll probably pop it into maybe my Discord Timberhearth channel with spoiler tags. And um, it says, where's the screenshot? I, I'm assuming anybody that doesn't want oily ending spoilers is, 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 is away and, and plugging your ears. But the text is, now beyond the reach of the supernova, you find yourself the only inhabitant of an abandoned world. Surely something here must be edible. <laughs> so similar to the Solanum, like, you're on the quantum moon with Solanum until the end of time ending, but the text is very much different. And I was feeling pretty proud of myself. And I got to play with the game and experiment off stream and I had a and I had a good time doing it. I was too lazy to try the types of experiments myself. It's fun to think of what they put in here. I'm excited if, if I'll think of anything else to try uh, before I'm done. But for now, we're here. And um, I, I came in here off street because I wanted to confirm that it wasn't like just a complete dud of a lead. And I only opened this one because I already had this passcode. Here's our flood. Okay. I haven't opened any of these before yet. I don't know if they're all going to be legible, but I'm ready to take notes. Uh, sort of ready to take notes. Need to bring food to grow on the stranger. We need some seeds. Yeah. And most people, I think it's scarier. The DLC. I, I don't know yet because I'm still not done, but... I have thoughts and feelings about the scariness level. Okay. Ready. This is... I'm just gonna draw. Moon. Planet. Moon. Star. Star. And this is the burned slide reel one. Okay. This is number one. It's illegible. Okay, cool. But we saw... No, this isn't the one we saw in the vision where they're carrying the thing. This one's burnt too. We get one. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it gives me something to do. But did all of these update the ship log? I think they did. One of this is the one that we saw in the vision where they're carrying it into the area with the tree, I think, but I can confirm that. All right, peace out. The codes in another castle, pretty much, pretty much. Um, if anybody is here and is not already in the interloper too, we can get that, if we could get that link for people. If you want to discuss theory that I'm not ready to discuss yet because I'm not done yet, the interloper is a fantastic place to do that. And I'm assuming y'all are still in spoiler chat, chilling, hanging out, high spoiler chat. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm very interested to read things at a later date. Okay, so we want to now go to... How do, what's a good way to get up there? Is, oh wow. Is, is, is the side here, is jetpacking and climbing a viable option for me? Where's my boat? The owl folk have a propensity for arson. They really do. Yeah, we burned up a lot of stuff. I'll take that landing. Crescent, hi. Welcome in. How's it going? Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. I hope your playthrough is going well. I was excited to see someone else utilizing echoes in progress chat. The lore, exactly. Y'all have a secret propensity for arson, do we? <laughs> Stir fry? I don't know that we do. What am I do? Where am I going? Oh, this is super steep, so I don't know if we can get here post flood if we haven't pre set up the elevator. Doing good, hope you are too. Finish the DLC today, congrats. Heck yes. That's awesome. Can I even make it over here at this point? I don't think so. I don't anticipate we're gonna finish today, but I think maybe this one and one more long one, which I'm trying to decide if I wanna play this on Saturday or Sunday next. I don't think we'll stream it on Thursday. All right, this is not going well. I don't know that I've ever had to, um... Backtrack in this manner before? Like, to get to the... Canyon at this point. To get to that building up there. Okay, excuse you, Raft. we get there from this way? I don't think so. Love the river music. It's good. It's good stuff. We might have to wait for the next loop anyway. We, we can do some exploring. think you're meant to go this way. I actually, I'm like, wow. I, I think it's something I've never needed to do or tried to do. I know you can get to where we need to go if you're already in the canyon when everything breaks. This seems feasible, right? No, not enough height. Even if I get to that side, that's not where we need to go. Hmm. I'm pretty sure all of the raft, like the things that pull your raft up in the canyon are broken at this point. Number, how's it going? I don't know if I said hi, but I saw your emotes in chat. Yeah. 
this spot is a nice place to watch the supernova. <laughs> In case you were looking for one. Is there anything I want to do before the loop ends? Or should we just go for it and head straight to the canyon? Oh, I think that's our music anyway. All right, let's watch, since I said this is a nice view of it. <laughs> goodness those are those are those are the main stories I think that's all I needed to fill you all in on loop ending music never gets old it never gets old I did <laughs> I have been ending a significantly increased number of loops before this song plays. <laughs> Sadly. But that's but that's off stream biz. We wanna we wanna savor it. For the time being. We are also done, I don't know if, if Chai is around lurking, but we are done talking about spoilery ending things. Don't know the right word? Yeah, I think that's right, Prescient. It's not kind of final. Confess I ended dozens of loops without meditation and DLC. It just felt more convenient when I was sort of stuck. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, all right, I just need to <laughs> go around again. I did what I was trying to do. messenger thanks interrupt us I don't know if, if she was the only one but I feel kind of bad talking about ending stuff if people are saving that for after they beat it as more of like an easter egg type thing I was just too excited I was like finally I did something I can say I finished it no Sniper Snake, hi, welcome. I would meditate near the start of a loop, yeah. If you've got a very specific goal for a loop sometimes, and you go and you do it and you get it over with quickly, and you're like, all right, that's all I wanted to do this loop. He's late. Um... Should we, should we, I think that was my one autopilot of the day. Well, if we're going for the canyon, if that's where we're trying to get to, then it doesn't really matter where we enter. Three, two, one, blast off. I was convinced that pulling the cord and coming to the stranger was a revolutionary idea. Then I was told there's no food on the stranger. It's a cool idea. Thanks for the loop counter. Oh yeah, I did not track loops off stream, so take take that for what you will. I don't I don't think it's like a contest for completion time for how many loops it took you. I, if people are out there like comparing and trying to find the lowest number, good for them. Um, I don't, I feel like you're, for me, that, maybe that's missing the point a little bit. We went way out here. Forgot my seatbelt. Shoot.
kind of want to know where that one observation window is in relation to this entry because you can see this like kind of bluish haze from the observation window by the by the reservoir it's kind of neat just for fun before and now it's for fun now yes Yes. Hard to agree. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I was stuck in the door. <laughs> it's fine. Crushing oneself with a door. Mm -hmm. Um, Sierra Bree, I know, like, I mentioned that there was probably another and better way to do it, but I also. I don't know, maybe I'll spend some time messing with it. But, like, I get inside every time. <laughs> it's not a broken method. <laughs> It's just maybe not the intended method, I don't know. Track the loop so you know when you beat the game on a funny number, <laughs> yeah. So no, I don't have to turn with my light. Like I can I can shine it at each individual panel and turn off my flashlight. I just I feel like I don't know. We get in pretty quick. It can't be that much quicker. I don't know. We were very underwater. Mm-hmm. No pressure for the next 10 loops. I will, I mean, if we can get the funny number. <laughs> Thought you were gonna sink the raft. No, I had it under control. <laughs> Loop 420, yeah. Let's go for 420. It's the longest. Let's go for the highest number of loops rather than the lowest. A method that works is a good method. That's what I'm saying. Like, why would I do it a different way if it's working every time until a point when it stopped working? I acknowledge that at some point I was probably going to want to see the sun side of the stranger entry. But we hadn't gotten to the point that my other method was failing me yet. <laughs> hey, soul, welcome. How's it going? I noticed the chain does not move up at exactly the rate as the raft, how none of you can un can unsee it either. Magus. <laughs> We're all cursed with this knowledge now. We don't need to do this. The autopilot kicks in strong. Not the autopilot for the ship, because I don't use that. I have plenty of other bad autopilot habits in the rest of the game, apparently. Because kind of wondering what we were doing. We were chatting. Um, I don't need this. Not, not at the present moment. I haven't been back here in a while, clearly. Still have no idea <laughs> what's happening. Um, frog people in space. Fine, thanks. Cooking dinner? Nice! I've been good, Soul Vibes. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Busy. Lots of big, exciting games. Uh, trying to get through all of them. And excited that it's... 
you know, almost Halloween. Pretty brave though, no autopilot. Thanks, Prescient. We've got cool music, and we've got a code that we can use now. Okay, it is this one. And then planet. I thought it was the inverse of this. That's why I did another rotation around. Like, only a sliver dark and the rest of it... Light. Oh, that's exciting. Secrets. Okay, I missed it. I'll get it the next go. We're gonna be owl people down here. Is this where the other... Is this where the... Other mural is gonna be? Because we've never seen the other mural in the... Awake zone. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I'll bring a I'll bring a lantern to all these pictures. Show me your secrets. This is oh, we've been in that room. We've seen the machine that burns the slide reels. We got in there without seeing this projector. And that's fine. This is showing us Another burnt slide reel? It's like up and behind the cinder aisles. I don't know that I've ever been up there. Okay. No, I need most I, I need most of the clues all the time. And then this is the sign. No. Is this that broken part of the building where we like jumped in the water to grab that one slide reel? It looks like that one building with the chunk like broken off. But I'm not sure. Okay. So the murals are not in here. Oh, hello. You seem important. Is there a projector in here? <laughs> uh, okay, but we have one nearby. I think that's all that we want to do in here for now. I probably missed something, but I want to go if, see if we can use the rest of the time to watch this slide reel. Interesting. One day I'll better remember how to get through here without taking a picture every step. Carefully making our way back. We know that there's lanterns across the canyon. Can't stop taking pictures of ghost matter. That's why they make phones with one terabyte storage, yeah. For all the sick ghost matter pics. Look, you've never seen one like this before. 
Look at how what a cool shade of blue green it is this time. Selfies in ghost matter, yeah. What else is there to take pictures of, honestly? All right, let's take some more notes. This is the burnt slide reel. Slide reel. With some excellent music. Oh. Hey, Tunes, welcome. These wilds are so totally outer. Mm hmm. Okay, so we see the vault. Or the, you know, structure. Owl people looking ominous. And then slide reel room, like a library. And they're gonna burn them all. Yep. Oh, wait, somebody's trying to stop. Say, hey, wait, don't do that. Keep this one. And hang on, stops from burning whole pile. Is this why we see some of them coming out of the cracks in things? Because this blue light takes one and puts in device. Which, when we saw this device for the for the first time, we spent a a little bit of time pondering whether it was destructive or not because there's like a blowtorch in the corner and this isn't quite it doesn't look quite the same or does this burn some of them no now we're burning it afterwards and now we're burning all of them Mega amounts of blue flame. They look scary there. Which one is this that they're stopping? The planet one? It looks like the planet one. Because there's one that has, well, and the one we're currently watching and the planet one had all the slides and I feel like all the other ones we've seen are partially burnt, but I don't know if that's 100% true. Okay. So now, we want to find these other locations, if we can. Let's stand out here and figure out where we're going. And if we want to bring a boat with us or not. And table welcome in. There's the flood. Probably just wait for this to make its way around. Scary soulless owls, yeah. Oh, I hope you're well today too, Tunes. I hope it's a good day for you. I like how the slide reels look like wrestling belts, yeah. It's a a fun design choice.
the little splashes. Okay. So there's a raft for us if we want to bring a raft. Which I think we just, we want to do that. used this one before and it lets us oh no it doesn't like that maybe it doesn't let us I swear I've used this one before oh well so we were supposed to use the other exit are we stuck now can we just swim is there gonna be electric shock can push this, but where can we push it to? I feel like just jumping in and out of the water was so hard to master in the beginning. Like if you were swimming and you were trying to get out onto land. Well, for me. Some heavyweight lore. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. We want uh, this room, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, sir, I hope you're having a good one. Lord of the lore. Trying to figure things out. Okay. Can't watch because I'm playing this too. Enjoyed the video of playthrough on YouTube of the OG. Thanks, Chu. Welcome in. Uh, thanks for the lurk. I totally understand. Don't get spoiled on the game if you can help it. We'll see you around. This is all blocked. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ram into the rest of the debris so that we can get through. Okay, maybe we'll just risk it. We'll find another one. Oh, maybe not. I don't know that I've ever seen that debris pile up before. It clogged, never happened to me. <laughs> hey, Monsieur. Welcome in. Started watching Jen's first playthrough of the main game. Oh, nice prescient. It's, uh, it's something. I don't know. We had a lot of- we had a lot of fun until the one day when we didn't, and then we came back and we had some more fun. I feel like that's like a rite of passage for Outer Wilds, is you get stuck and you have a bad- a bad day of it, and then you eventually come back and you're like, okay, yeah, I love it. Making a new dam. Mm-hmm. You ate, uh... 10 kilovolts a few times. I don't know that I've been electrocuted yet, but, you know, it's not too late. How would we... Okay, I thought we had been up there. We might run out of time. Sykes, hi. Saturn, hi. Welcome. An hour and a half in. What was the bad time? Brittle Hollow. I got really salty on day three because of the Southern Observatory and Brittle Hollow and was like, I don't know if I want to play this game. <laughs> we and, and, you know, I was like, I'm going to take a break from the game. We'll see when we come back. 
And oh, did we come back. Um, I don't think I can make this jump. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, though, so... It might not even be a map of the daytime zone. What if it's a map of the nighttime zone? Roots. We'll probably have to go back and look at it again. I was very excited to get to this to go read that other slide reel. We could have read it and then gone back to the room in the eye shrine, but we went here instead. Can your character drown in a spacesuit? Um, you can run out of oxygen with your spacesuit on, but uh, you can only drown if you take it off, from what I understand. That's the end of our loop. I don't know that this is any particular, like, I don't know if this is anything, because I have a pretty vague understanding of what those maps were showing us for now. There's also a building under here with a bunch of slide reels, so maybe it's a map to the slide reels that they decided to only burn pieces of them, I'm not sure. It's like a Dark Souls boss you can't get past sometimes, yeah. Did we get your hair trimmed? I did. Thanks, Sykes. I wasn't gonna... We, we talked about it at the beginning of stream. I was like, I don't normally stream on Tuesdays, but I'm really excited to play this game, and I got my hair done. <laughs> Jim, hi. How's it going? Yeah, I'll have to look at that map again. Because it could be... I, I just think we we glanced and got some relative location data and then pieced out of there to go watch the slide reel. Let's go up in a tree. Where's Gabbro's hammock at a time like this? Can the owl people fly? Do we know that about them? They don't seem very, like, um, streamlined, aerodynamic. Thanks, number. <laughs> Usually did it by going into stream and getting knocked underwater. Oh, getting killed in this, in this, in this game? Yeah, we've died to the undertow. We've died to the current. We've died to getting squished by the elevator. We've died to... I don't know what else in this playthrough. Didn't know you could tree climb this well. I didn't either. <laughs> Bren, hi, welcome. Yeah, new hair. <laughs> My biggest fear is deep water because electric wheelchair plus water. Bad times. I could totally understand why that would be a... <laughs> A valid fear. Absolutely. Have we figured out what the spooky screaming monster is? We... So, I've seen the owl spirit, like, dissolve in front of me while the scream happens. And I think what's going on with it, which this is all theorizing and rhetorical. Thanks, Brent. Um is when it's so weird to explain the owl bodies in our solar system they're like living bodies are 
skeletons, and they're all holding these lit flames. And when we light our flame, our body, our, like, spirit body goes to the nighttime zone, the sleepy zone, as I like to call it. So their spirit bodies, because their flame is lit, those, they're all in the sleepy zone. And when we're there with them, we are all hanging out together, and they make a lot of creepy noises. But what we've seen is when their flames, and my flame goes out in the daytime zone, and it wakes me up. And it takes me out of the sleepy zone and trans and brings me back. But their bodies, when they get pulled back, they don't have a, va- a, a living body to come back to. It's just bones. So you hear the scream as the water is extinguishing their flame, I think. And then their spirit goes poof. I, I think that's why the screaming happens. It's actually very sad. Because Krakens... <laughs> That too. Time for a mallow. Loop number 60. It's a terrifying idea. I don't know if this is right, but that's my theory. That's my speculation. I don't know if you have to be aerodynamic to be able to fly as the roach that flew towards my face. Oh, wouldn't? I'm so sorry. Roaches are terrible. We got a lot of new stuff. Thank goodness. Secret location. Secret location. Secret location. All right. There's an interface upstairs that can be used to line up symbols. Entering the correct sequence opens the path to a secret room behind or er, beneath the temple. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants removing all of the slide reels from their shelves, scanning each reel. Oh, they don't show them scanning each reel. The pile looks the same when they take the one and they scan it and then throw the one back in and seemingly just burn it after that one special reel but it this says they scan each of them okay fine and then incinerating specific slides as well as the entire reels which the special one that they scanned they picked up and they were like yeah we're gonna take pieces but we've been able to see specific ones Oh, these are marked pretty well. A projection that seems to reveal a secret location somewhere within the stranger. This is the room with the device where they burned the reels and where they scanned the reels. We've seen that. A projection that seems to reveal a secret location somewhere within the stranger. This is where I was just trying to sort of go. But I think... It's, like, relative to the tower being on our left, I was going on the bit of land that's, like, up above Cinder Isles. But it could be something underneath the rock, and it looks like there's another bit of water over to the right, kind of? It's hard. It's, I kind of want to zoom in on that. So maybe we will go back and look at these again. And then this is... Projection seems to reveal a secret location somewhere within the stranger. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. A map I found in the abandoned temple reveals a secret location somewhere within the stranger. Near Cinder Isles. Secret mural. So many secrets. Okay, symbol room. A secret room filled with the wooden containers marked with different symbols. Three of the containers are marked with glowing vault seals, but their contents have been burned away. I opened the container marked with the symbol of a burning slide reel and found a vertical sequence of symbols inside. Glad it tracks that for us. Was the secret room in Tower Puzzle hard for you? Did you big brain it? I had to, um, I had to do it off stream. I figured it out off stream. I was so, we talked about it a lot at the beginning of this stream, but I was very, very fixated on something else, and I never bothered to go back and do some other stuff, um, and I don't know, I don't think I big-brained it, but I did figure it out, 
eventually. It just took me a while. Reveal the secret location somewhere within the lowlands. Okay. Brain of moderate size. <laughs> um. And it says it's this one. Okay, so that's not the room I thought it was. Good to know. But we found... I think we read the slide reel that this is talking about. Except why would it call it a sleek... A sleek... Location if we've already seen it. And then the other one is going to point to... Slide burning room, which used to be secret location. And it's not, so that means... It's, it's more than just the location of a slide reel, potentially. Okay. Let's go back to... Oh, but if we want to go back to... No, yeah, let's, let's, let's go back to Hidden Gorge. That's my plan. Three, two, one. Blast off. Standard amount of wrinkles in brain. Mm -hmm. I think I had to- I didn't have enough wrinkles in my brain to do it under pressure on stream. And I had to like really go through and rule out a bunch of other stuff before I got to the right lead. Wish Outer Wilds devs were making Metroid Prime 4 because they're masters of lore. I'm off again, getting late. Gotta work tomorrow. Prescient, have a good sleep. Take care. We will see you around. Big Brain Secret Tower Room didn't spot the opening and thought I messed up. Oh no! That's frustrating, Magus. I don't know. I feel like Big Braining it is getting it. Once you, once you figure it out, and you go inside, I mean, unless you, like, look up word for word, like, do this to enter here, then you're, you're, you're big braining by using your brain to read the instructions, but, <laughs> um, and it's okay to get help. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know. I don't want to mess with what the term big braining means to people. It's your playthrough. Play it how you want. I was getting to the point where I thought I was gonna need a hint. But I didn't need a hint. Just some more alone time off stream. Is this game considered a Metroidvania? No. No, I don't think so. I mean, you can spin any uh, um you can spin anything to make it fit any category and say, "Well, these elements are just like this." Life is a Metroidvania, and this game is a part of life. If you, it could be if you consider the power-ups to be knowledge, yeah. I see that. I wonder what's to the left over here. We haven't gone up there yet. Maybe that's one of the secret locations. We were talking about how The Witness is a Metroidvania, because that that's, like, yeah, you get knowledge and you bring it back to areas you visited before and you didn't know how to solve them and now you know how to solve them. Maybe a roguelike, yeah. I was younger, so much- oh, <laughs> ta. I was about to read that whole thing. Thank you for the lyrics. Getting help isn't something we should fear. Mr. Callan, welcome in. Some people like to be cute and call it that. Instead of ice rockets unlocking a door, it's, uh, if I hold my signal scope like this. 
Roguelike's where I draw the line. The trim is falling apart before our eyes. have that command and I think um, there's a, a way you can check with your account rogues are fun I like a challenge I don't think I've played a roguelike old school game where you only have one life and restart when you die for rogue gonna go across this way. Roguelite normally means it plays the same, but you make some meaningful progress between each life or run. You should play Binding of Isaac on stream, it's perfect for your channel. <laughs> I've heard otherwise. <laughs> Appreciate the uh, label for that comment though, Ta. Pretty sure this game is third person action adventure survival RPG with crafting. Something like that. It feels nice when you get it, yeah. The accomplishment when you get through. Risk of rain, slay the spire binding of Isaac faster than light. The mal mallows count as crafting. Yeah, yeah. We love a we love a good mallow. Assembling the warp cores, you know, because you totally create them yourself. Where's my key? It's faster to go left. That's the staircase down. I'm all about specific genres, action or adventure, super vague and useless. Nope. Every current video game announcement is to believe that's a good descriptor of every game. Okay, so I want to look at these again. The ship log tracks them for us, but you can't get really up close to them like this. It's so odd. I feel like it's underneath here. Oh, we've been in this little dead end area before. Dead end. And I've backed out and, and noped out of there and gone, no, wait, I don't want to go this way. I think. I think, but I'm not 100% sure. I, and I, I'm assuming I never went underwater in there. I think I just went over there with a raft. you please duck down? Here, let's duck. <laughs> um, I don't really understand what I'm looking at here, but I see this little structure. It looks almost like a drain. Almost like a miniature model of a bridge or something. Is this where the start starting building is it kind of looks like the first building we drop out of when we come in from the shade side behind it and i've never gone backwards that way when we've when we've dropped out of that building i don't think and then this one we found okay 
I think I'm satisfied with that. Anything else cool in here? Yeah, there's secret rooms inside the secret room. It's possible. Where's the lean button? Mm -hmm. Player can change the game genre based on how they play it. Yeah. I like that idea. I just say that I like good games. Action adventure useful for marketing, but it's hard to say I'm a fan of action games. Yeah. What is an action game? There is a raft here that we can use, right? Uh, this is a bad idea. But isn't there one usually parked down there? Yeah, it's right there. Because next I'm trying to go to... I don't know, I'm just trying to do a full loop around. We're going to the entrance. Whee! Oops. Bad idea! It's fine. It's not the worst fall I've ever taken. This baby can fit so many secret passages. Truly. An unfathomable amount of secret passages. Okay, let's go over... Here. Oh, yep, go right into that hole. Jen, don't fall. Now, can we get to this ledge from here? Oh, I think I wanted to stay on the raft. I think I've tried that jump before and been sorely disappointed. I feel like it's gonna burst the second I go over there. We'll see! Yeah, how's this damn feeling? How's everything going, damn? You good? You feeling healthy? Feeling ready for the adventure? This is a bad idea. I wonder... Hmm... Time for the blood. We're gonna die. Stay right here. Stay anchored to the ground so that you don't pummel into debris. Okay. We survived the initial. people survive. <laughs> we couldn't have had worse timing. Well, let's go back over here. Somehow I always earn just enough points for kindness redemption every stream. Wait, did I miss one? We had one earlier. I don't think I missed one.
Oh. No, this is the staircase. That's not the, like, structure that we saw in the clue. I feel like it gets covered, whatever it is, is gone once the dam breaks, possibly? Can we get a better view from up here? Whoa, this room just gets a whole hole in it? Can you imagine getting to the stranger really late the first time, and then you end up in this room and just the water crashes through the wall? Flash liquidizer, ultra dowsing device. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bees, thank you for redeeming human kindness. Why did it not just redeem? It did. I see it. You're good. There is a cooldown on it, so anybody trying to do it too soon will not be able to redeem one. But thank you for redeeming it. Sending human kindness from me to you, to all a chat. Thank you. You're worthy. You're valid. You're loved. I'm glad that you're here. I hope you have a really excellent week going forward, that you have all the strength to do the things that you need to do. Thanks for exploring with me and helping me chat through my my thought process. And it makes me... um. It makes me feel good to be playing this game with you. <laughs> Dawn of the damn damn. Yes. I don't know if you recall your first time at The Stranger. I do. We came out of the thing. We dropped out. We rode the raft. A little ways and then I think it got picked back up again and then we saw Brittle Hollow come crashing through and I was like wow that's really weird and chat was a little upset <laughs> can save my points stock up on channel points yeah I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here Do I do I even want this raft? No. Can I land in this tree? No. <laughs> We're so low on health. I've sat on the top of this archway before. And it helped me find the entrance over here. Gotta go watch a guy perform boomerang stunts on Zoom. Enjoy. That sounds interesting. I think we'll start a new loop. time is it? I don't know how long of a stream we'll do today. We are off our normal schedule. I think that was worth, worth the loop to go back and look at those drawings again. Now I have a nice close-up view of them in the VOD if I ever want it. Mallow. <laughs> Stranger gets so banged up that it gets tempting to start new loops for certain things, yep. Let's 
so weird. What am I looking at? It could be a different building. Let's go in. Let's... Okay, we're gonna... Let's go in on the sun side, because that's exactly where I want to pop out. Let's autopilot. Three, two, one, blast off. Danny, hi, welcome in. Less tempting than Brittle or Ember. Oh, for the, like, restarting a loop, yeah. I hate it, but it's efficient. Autopilot, the second best pilot. We're, we have a goal. We're trying to do this thing. I guess I could fly there and then fly under to get to the sun side, but you know. All right. So this, this has a drain on it. I don't think we can go up close to it. Is there also a drain on the other side? There is. And we can also go underwater around here? I feel like if this hits us, it's just gonna flip us. It's fine, this is a water ride. Oh, I hear like electricity or something? Is that a window up there? I've ever come all the way up this way, but I've come close. Whee! Okay, I didn't really want to go over here. Do we think it's something underwater? That's- they've like- they've made underwater rooms. They made one under the tower. Also, we can't get picked up here because there's already a raft. It's like Splash Mountain. Yeah, kinda. Okay, well, rip. What do, what do we want to do, Jen? Knack, hi, how's it going? Have we ever been over here before? out now. Glad to see you a bit. Bye fellow humans. Take care, soul. Have a good one. I'm glad you got to stop in. Oop, shit. Well, this is fine. When parkour goes wrong. We've been up above here a little bit before. Catch some music notes, yeah. A little bit, but not a lot. That's slipperier and slantier than I thought. I don't know if 
understand. There's got to be something underwater, but I feel like you get so little time to hang out and explore, especially this area, because of the dam. Can I see something from here I haven't seen yet? Mm, I don't know. I'm not keen to just jump back down off the top of the dam. That seems like a very bad idea. much better landing than some of the other ones we've been having. I don't understand what I'm looking for. I don't- maybe this isn't the building. right here. I found it. The secret room between the rocks. directly towards the dam that's about to burst. I think it's fine. Is my flashlight yes, on or off? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. Okay, I don't think this is gonna pay off. It's so dark. swim for a little bit. I feel like I'm gonna ride this raft for two seconds. I want to go over here now. This is the area with the dead end, sort of, kinda. Have we ever been here before the flood? I feel like I don't want to be in here when the flood happens, but I do want to get a better look at it. something. Oh, weird. So, underwater... What is over there? Is this... Oh, come on, Jen. Please, for the love of God. Is this something that we could see from the outside? Normally? Oh. 
another one of these. Is there going to be another slide reel in here for us? Oh, hello. Hey, thanks. Oh, why would you lock me? Why would you lock me out? It's rather rude. Is that on purpose? If I put this back, does it um open again? Okay, well, I'm glad I'm not stuck in there forever. <laughs> I'm wondering where there's going to be a spot to view that, so I'll probably leave it alone for now. Where does this come out? Oh, okay. Alright, let's go get it. <laughs> Hopefully we have time! Is there anything else? This is just here. This is just chilling in a very obvious but not so obvious spot. Fair enough. This is another one of the ones with three owl people on it, but in the center it's got the seal with two symbols, the like the second lock on the vault. Okay, cool. This is all gonna flood though, I think, and I don't have a lantern, so maybe this isn't the best place for me to view this right now. I'm, I'm a little bit scared. We- oh no, we're by the tower. Uh, okay. I think this one stays- I think the basement floods. But we can continue to use this building to view these. I just gotta go get a thing from the tower. Let's get to some higher ground. <laughs> we bounced. Feel level critical? What do you mean? We gotta go visit the eye shrine. Okay, more notes. Uh, oh, these are the devices, right? Or similar to the telescope we saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, three owl people, and it's the second lock. Oh, this is gonna be similar to the one maybe where we see like them taking the container and going through a door with it. <sighs> Telescopes. And you see, yeah, you see the container right there. Which we were, we found this building finally. There's a raft. Did they- did something else happen at the beginning? Did you extinguish something? No, it's just you... Looking at the tower. Going on the raft. This hallway we've been down. This is an alarm bell. We hand the thing over. And they leave. Then we go back. 
Oh, sneaky. Uh, I didn't write any of that down. Hand over container ride raft back and teleport off in the rocks. Oh, nice. It's convenient. Turns all the candles, all the alarms off so that this friend can walk across and go down. Okay. And then it lights back up. Okay. That was important. Uh, now... We don't have very much... a ton of time. I kind of want to go... I don't know where the first one is. But it's gonna look like- we saw that arch. The way that arch building looks. And I don't have an artifact handy. Can we go backwards from here? across this? Yeah. Oop, whoops, I said I was gonna refill and then I didn't. <laughs> um, we can just walk. <laughs> Watch out for your fuel level. Yeah. Fuel is important. <laughs> you can't do any cool jetpacking things when you run out of your regular fuel. I don't even think I can swim to the eye shrine with this with using oxygen. I think I have to have a raft to get over there. Is one gonna come down this path for us? I don't think so. Yeah, we don't have enough oomph to get over there for sure. Or even get up on this one. Wee! <laughs> you don't even have enough fuel to like, climb into it. Please land against the shore so I can board. Push, 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 push. Push! No! I should have just waited here. Alright. Raph, go boop. You can use oxygen as propellant, but can't use fuel as oxygen. <laughs> yeah, so unfair. Um, that's okay, because I was just trying to get to a raft to get back to the front, to the start of the stranger anyways. Because I cannot figure out where that other map is pointing us to. Where are you going? Oop. Mallow time. Yeah. I finally bought hot chocolate so I can eat all of the mallows that are not good 
for just eating by themselves because they're a little stale, but I can put them in hot chocolate and they'll be just, they'll be good as new. Slide burning room. Secret well. Ooh. I've been craving hot chocolate and I realized today while I was at work that I literally have a box of 30 Swiss Miss. That's so many. That's like a jumbo box. Good. I'm glad you remembered. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished, and the figure carries the container down into a dark well. The reel I found in the slide burning room shows a container marked with a glowing symbol behind being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished, and the figure carries the container down into a dark well. That's the same thing. Do we try to figure out this other map first? I want to I want to figure this out. I thought I think I was wrong in looking at this and thinking it was by the entrance. Also, I feel like maybe the dotted line means it's underground or it's behind that wall or underwater or something like that. So then we want to go... It doesn't really matter which way we fly in. It's like 450. Nice. Three, two, one, blast off. Never had a mallow in my life. Am I missing out? I don't know. They're, um... I would say yes, but they're mostly just sugar. They're they're nice fluffy texture. If you're like a food textures person and and that sounds pleasant to you. This is a fine entry. It's good. We did good. Look at that. Lined up right on schedule. Yay. Jester! Hi. Welcome. Thank you for the 17 months. Thanks for the prime. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad reviewing. We're very glad to have you. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. It's good to see you. You're missing out if you've never had a toasty marshmallow. Raw marshmallows are like 7 out of 10. Yeah, they're not so good. They're, they're okay. Should get myself mallows in a campfire. I would have to, I would have to recommend. S'mores are the best way to eat them, yeah. Things are good, I can't believe it's been 17 months, I know. That's a lot of months, that's a long time. Oh, I can't figure out, is it like, right there in front of our faces by this building? I, I think I'm gonna abandon that building and go back to this other plan. Almost a whole year. <laughs> Mal's a melted chocolate, yeah. Roast melons over a stove doesn't need to be a campfire. True. This is very true. I wanted to hit the wall there. Yes. An oil lamp, marshmallows, and a package of bamboo skewers. Hmm. You could make it happen. Okay, 
good, good landing, good. Like underneath one of these buildings. This this like uh, arch thing looks like the pattern we saw. But how? I feel like the current is super 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 strong here. You can crawl under here though. It's kind of neat. We found the secret room. Um, I don't think that's quite what we're what we're getting after. Aha! There's the drain we saw. Well, well hidden by trees and bushes. There's one of these. We're gonna close on me. It's possible. No, don't close. No. Why? It's fine. It's just to scare you. Pretty neat that our jetpack can use owl person fuel, yeah. Where does this come out? It's gonna come out in another secret basement room of one of the projector rooms. That's kinda cool that these all emerge like that. But we left our lamp behind. Secret room! Now the task at hand. Can Jen find a lamp? I mean, yes. The houses are made of fireproof wood. <laughs> lore! Exactly, Sequoia. So much lore. Trying to go fast because the dam's gonna break. Oop. Okay, we're good. More notes. This is symbol number one. Three owl people. First lock. Is this going to tell us how to get through the scary room with all the owl people? Lowlands. Go up the bridge. Meet up with a pal. Hand off. Container to friend. Follow friend. Uh, 
Oh, we don't follow them. We watch them all going in a line. So there... There is an upstairs that they're watching this from. Watch... Line of... Friends. You can see the fireplace. But I assume you get to the upstairs by going out that door, because we saw a staircase out that door. Oh, well, that's horrifying. Do we just sprint into the fire? Yeah, I never would have done that. We needed this clue. If that's even, you know... Just walk right in. The flames are fine. Oh, my HUD did not like that. It glitched out for a second. Maybe because my scout was doing it off doing its own thing. Now what? Start a new loop already because we have to come back here. We have time to grab I don't I don't I don't know. Splash! I love this splash. Empty strings, how's it going? Welcome in. right? Not enough time for this. Not enough time before the flood. Oh, it's because they use green fire. Yeah, that's why. This one doesn't look like we have any thing that we have to extinguish. We just have to get to the fireplace. Give me somebody I can follow. Hello. Oh, hi. We're close. All right, cool. Fall in line. Green fire doesn't burn wood because it's environmentally friendly. That's that must be it. I'm curious, like, I don't- I don't like this plan, but I have to know what happens if we carry out this plan, so... We're going to. It doesn't make sense in my head, but it is what I saw happen in a vision, so I'm just gonna follow the vision I saw. <laughs> Go green with archive deletion, yeah. I hate 
like this part so much. It's the worst. Do, 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 do. I don't know what my goal is here. I feel like I'm supposed to run in and douse the fire. But instead, I feel like we're going to sprint towards the fire. Go bravery! <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that would happen, and that anything would happen. I wonder if it's in there and you can, like, open it, though? I don't think we have time for another. Thanks for all the slow jam cats. Oh, some good bravery. Thanks, Danny. I've been doing this uh, particular loop a few times. There's our flood, yeah. I wonder, like, if you get there at the perfect moment as all of their flames go out, if that means anything. I'm curious about that, too. <gasps> And table, welcome back. Thanks everybody for chilling. Um, that was an interesting loop. We can still make it to the whatchamacallit. We can still get some use out of this loop. have a solid plan for owl people fireplace and it's like my least favorite place in the game so I'm not keen to rush back there okay now what am I doing we are going to the telescope room and riding the raft Oh, right. We're just in full, like, go mode. We're concentrating really hard. I'm getting as much done as I can. Because I feel like we're going to get stuck again. <laughs> Go mode, pretty much. I feel like some of this stuff, like, we've seen so many things in the ship log that some of it you're like, okay, yeah, that's what I was hoping to find and I found it. Like, I don't know. Not all of it, but certain things you're like yeah I knew we were gonna find that eventually here it is raft Bafanada. <laughs> thanks wooden where are you I love that sound effect. I love his Zelda. That's so obstructed. How do you even... It's scary in here. You know what else I noticed? When you're riding the rafts in the sleepy zone and you go through those tunnels, if you shine your light into the rock wall, there's like nothing to shine it at. There's just absolute pitch black darkness. And then the sound, every time you go into one of those tunnels, it makes this noise like, I don't know. You're, you're just transporting into oblivion. So what's gonna be over here? Well, I don't know, we gotta extinguish this first, right? 
And can we just walk? Is that like an alarm? They're after me? No! I hate it! Turn it back on! Turn it back on! <laughs> Other way! I hear all their elevators! Go, 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 go! You can't see me! Oh, I'm glad I turned on Reduce Sprite. How do we get out of here? Oh, I think we're trapped in this room. Because there's no, like, summon. Wait, so can we wake up and then it's still extinguished? No, because they probably walk back and relight it. We can test that. <sighs> I'm curious. I'm assuming, like, they're still on the lookout for me. Is there gonna be one right there next to me waiting? I hear the music's different and everything. But we can see their blue lights from afar, right? Everything's still not lit. Oh, I see. I think they can seal their lights to sneak around and get me. I hate it. This is terrible. It's just gonna appear in a doorway? And I don't remember the path to get there. I'm gonna have to go back and memorize the path to get to the elevator because this is not it. the other way and you have to like oh shit I hate it I don't like it nope we can't even do it with reduced fright <sighs> all right and that's all Jen can take for today <laughs> wait Did I not just... did I cancel it? Hey Skulls, welcome. That was really weird, right? We meditated next to the fire and then we meditated again and it worked the second time because we were we meditated when we were already asleep. Strange. Let's go look at our chip log. Fireplace. We've seen that fireplace so many times. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a procession of green lanterns through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry the container into a secret passage behind the fireplace. Oh, so I got in there and I just missed it because we were dying in the flames. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a procession of lights through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry a container into a secret passage beyond a roaring fireplace. Strategic marshmallow melting, why haven't I gotten this game? <laughs> okay. That's it. For today. Um, I don't know if I'll want to stream scary chase on stream or off stream that's too much for me like i'm gonna have to do it in such small increments i'm 
I don't know. We'll see. Was not anticipating that. Pretty frustrated about it. Let's go listen to some Timber Hearth music. Here, let's put our suit on. Oh, we have it on. <laughs> Were space angler fish scarier for you? Um, it's hard to say. Because, like, and I don't know, because I literally walked into that room and, like, did it one time and noped out of there. Or not that room, like, started that sequence. But, um, this, the anglerfish don't move until you mess up. So they suck, and they're awful, and you hear them breathing... But when you do it wrong, they chase you. If you bump into them, if you make too much noise, if you use your thrusters, they wake up and they jump scare you, and I hate it. But this one, they're on the move, running around chasing after you. No matter what you do. And yeah, I know I can, like, map my path to get there, and I think I'll get more efficient at it if I practice. Well, I will get more efficient at it that if I practice. I don't think they're, like, horrifying owl people monsters. They're, they're protecting whatever it is they're trying to protect. But I can't do- I can't do chase games. I don't play games like that. The fog in Dark Bramble is pretty bright. Yeah, and it's super dark. Yeah. Vibing to Timber Hearth music. I needed it. I'm so disappointed. Like, that, that's not, I get, it's, it's great. You know, I get, I get why you make scary things in games, but that's not why I play this game. And the fact that that's barring, what seems to be barring progress is, is very sad. Because it's going to keep me from playing it the way I want to. surprised too by the scary phase. I think it suits the game well and feels rewarding afterwards. I'm sure it does. I know I know it's gonna be important. I know like it's gonna be great. It's Outer Wilds of course it's gonna be amazing. But like that's a that's like a huge hurdle for someone who doesn't play any scary games, who knows they can't play scary games and like can only watch other people play scary games. That's, it's scary enough for me to call it that just from that first walk into the room and the fact that the fireplace room even exists and I've had to do that room like so many times to get to the point where now I'm like, okay, I can run in. But that took me playing it off stream and getting desensitized to it and being like, okay, this is the path. This is how we're going to do it quickly. And I still was literally shown go into the fireplace and I still couldn't do it because I'm too like nervous about getting caught. We've got reduced sprites on, yeah. And it, do, it does, the, the jump scare itself is less bad, which I appreciate, but the tension of running away from stuff is what is what I don't like, because you don't know when it's going to end, and you're going to have to start over. And you can do multiple attempts, like, you don't have to start the loop over. If you get caught, you can try to get as many attempts in as possible. Um, but yeah. Dread is scary too. Yeah, I'm interested about Dread because I've heard it's scary, I've heard it's hard. So we'll see. <laughs> Frights definitely aren't for everyone. Mm. Yeah. Is there a mood that a mod that replaces the jump scare chase music with yak 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 yakety sax? Yeah. What would what would help me during that? Like if we do lo-fi music. If we 
like if I stream that part to the Discord and just get through it and then come back once we get through it. Because I think I can do the fireplace one now. I feel good enough about that that I can try that again and get to whatever's in the secret fireplace passage. I don't know. I don't think the answer is to listen to Yakety, Yakety Sax on repeat, but... <laughs> um, what else? What other endings can I come up with? I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure there's- maybe there's an achievement if you do get sucked back out into the vacuum of space after going into the lab, the lab room with the, the failed lanterns, the failed artifacts. There's probably other stuff we can do with the core. I don't know. Chill lo-fi beats to study and be chased by owls too, yeah. Replace the scary noise with puppy cat, yes. I love puppy cat. There's a way to skip. Aw, oh, thanks Black Ghost. Yeah, I'm sure there's like certain things you can get around. I had to hang out for a while in the middle of my playthrough to gather courage. It's, it's, um, I'll have to think about it. We don't get timber hearth music when it's nighttime. We just have to chill and listen to the crickets and the water the water geyser. All right, friends. Oh, thank you for being here. Thanks for oops, sorry. Um chilling and and watching the progress cuz we made so much progress from last time. We were cruising and just pew, 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 like shooting through because everything was blocked until today 